but there has been a vicious assertion by the executive members of the UPP in which they are promoting this notion that I am using the courts to destroy the reputation of the UPP members, including Harold Lovell, who are now before the court answering the charge of um, conversion of uh, school buses, hmm. which were donated by the government of Korea. Those school buses were gifts to the government of Antigua and Barbuda to be utilized by school children. And I have to tell you that um, no one in the cabinet, including myself, had the slightest clue hmm. that those buses were government buses. I recall um, leading up to the 20... 14 elections being jailed by Jackie this and Harold in their buses during their motorcades as mm -hmm. they passed through my um, constituency. I remember the one for Jackie in particular, she had old Jackie on there. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I was quite um, impressed with what I conceived at the time or perceived, I should say, An to have been their benevolence that they would have invested in um, <laughs> you know, buses to transport their constituents. <laughs> what I didn't recognize at the time is that they didn't pay one red cent. <laughs> And it's only after a few years in government that the director of audit honored the mischief of the conversion of the buses, or let me use the word alleged, just to be on the safe side, hmm. uh, the uh, alleged conversion of the buses, which um, came consigned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. St stick, up in the, stick, up in the, seriously. stick up in the Prime Go Minister, ahead. excuse me. You, you just said that the director of audit. So where's the witch hunt? Well, that's the point I'm making, that we didn't have the slightest clue. Uh, it's the director of audit, and I'm glad that you stopped me just to emphasize hmm. that in the ordinary course of his work, the director of audit this, picked up on that. across this um, anomaly in which bosses that were consigned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, gifted by the government of Korea for the use of our school children, hmm. that our school children were deprived of the use and they ended up um, being utilized for political purposes for the benefit of those ministers. So we had nothing to do with that. And I just want to make it abundantly clear to dispel that lie that my government initiated any investigation against Lovell et al for the alleged conversion. Uh, we had nothing to do with it. And we're keeping out because we recognize that um, DJ Zalizak was able to get away or, let's say, um, escape answering for her issues at Board of this Education because she newsroom. made a case that um, she could not get a fair trial here. And a judge agreed with her. It's not that she was vindicated. She got away on a technicality. And we're not going to allow Harold Lovell et al. any opportunity whatsoever to escape any liability associated with these bus buses by any technical technicality. So I want to also implore all of us um, and those of you on our point FM in particular to be careful about any discussion about mm -hmm. this case. Uh, at the end of the day, it was it is not, it was not, and it is not politically motivated. The cabinet had nothing to do with this case. This uh, we had we held no newsroom. investigations. We had we, we caused no investigations to occur on this issue because we had no knowledge about it. 